Hey, Jose, how are you? Can you hear me, Jose? Yeah. All right. Good evening, teacher. So how are you? How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. Um, um, I was waiting for the class. I see. I see you are early today. Yeah. That's excellent. And what happened in your area? Is raining? No? Yeah. Um, now is is soft, but um, one hour ago, um, it's very strong. Yeah, the same here. Here was raining about an hour ago, very strong. Yeah. But it's better to rain at night than in the day. I think in the day is more complicated. Yes. Yes, but with the uh, internet signal is is difficult. Yeah, definitely. Always we have problems with with internet when it begins to rain. Yeah, it's a typical right thing, here, right? Yeah, right here is um a big problem with this. <laughs> okay. Well. It's good to have everyone here connected again, that we are ready. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is just making sure that everybody's, I think today maybe we have some people that cannot connect too well because I know that in some places they say, for example, Santa Ana or other places, I, I saw in the chat, they say it's raining very hard. I don't know who is the person, but is the person with a lot of flower, with a lot of flowers and hearts. I imagine it's a woman. Mm hmm All right. Yes. Okay. So, Jaime, you ready? Yes, teacher. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Jaime, what do you think is the best thing about technology? The best thing about technology? Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, oh, yesterday we... Uh, we're talking about in the in the future I I, I how I I have my house in and say any oh what robotic for robotic say or a, anything for uh, in substitution for for one person for example yes mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and other thing <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Think about it. Think about it. Noe. Noe, what is the best thing about technology for you? In my case, in my home, in my company too, I have internet and I use the the what cables? The what cables? What what did you say, Noah? Eh, quiero decir eh, solamente lo puedo usar con uh, línea lo usamos con línea línea óptica. Ah, yes, like uh, through cable, through, through cable. cable. Through, okay, ah, uh, I use in my home eh, through cable. Uh, my company, uh, I have a system um, and the controller and the space with camera. Cameras. And camera. And my system, I use uh, the system for controls of inventory. Mm -hmm. uh, the system SAT Vision 1, my contact. Account. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. yes. This is the technology uh, I have in my cage. 
Okay, all right. Well, that's great. Today, we're going to be learning a little bit about how to use extra words. What you are using are many times relative clauses. They're giving extra information. What I, uh, my company or the technology or the things. Today, we're gonna look at it a little bit differently. How to give extra information using the relative clauses of time. Here, and Jose Arturo, can you please read the objective? Okay, by the end of this class, you will understand the use of the relative clause of time. So this is really the easy way to say is extra information about when. Extra information about when, that's the idea. But let's watch the video and get some more information. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay, so today we're going to be focused on the word when. When is the key word to identify the relative clause of time, okay? so. You like, I like it, I love it, I enjoy it. Ah, but when, ah, when, I like it when my wife cooks my favorite dinner, okay? I love it when my friends call me to go out and have a drink. That's it, this is the relative clause. It's only giving the situation and then the times. Here we're gonna practice a little bit. We are in 3.4. 3.4 in the platform, knowledge check right here, okay? And let's see, Jaime Hernandez, can you please read the instructions? Okay, teacher. Instructions, how much do you know about the months? Read the sentence and complete, and complete them by choosing the best information. Okay, so we have a lot of holidays in El Salvador, right? We have, look, New Year's Day, April Fool's, May, June. We have many different. All you have to do is select when. What happens in that holiday? So with your partner, we're going to make 3.4 small groups. And we need to select what happens in the holidays. Okay, Valentine's Day is a day when. Mother's Day is a day when. Christmas is a day when. And that's it, the details. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Remember, relative clause of time, when, and the information. That's the main idea. Okay. Let's take a look.
Okay, merci. What's number one, New Year's Day? Um, people have party with family and friends. Okay, good. No, number two. People sometimes play street on friends. Okay, good. Juan Linares, number three. Many young adults choose to get married. Okay, good. Uh, Jaime Hernandez, number four. Uh, Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Okay, good. Let's see who else is here. Jose Arturo, number five. You are on mute. Sorry. Um, people in many countries honor worker. Okay, good. All right, Maria, number six. No, Maria, maybe not have has some problems. Brazilian celebrate. Go ahead, Maria. Brazilian celebrate. I cannot think. Celebrate carnival. Celebrate carnival. carnival. Okay. Carnival. All right. Good. Okay. Hey, there you go. There we go. So we have a lot of different answers, right? All of them are correct for all of the different days, even though there are many different days. So now we're going to add more detail before we continue. So right now with your partners, you're gonna select the day and you're gonna add a detail and give more description. As an example, I select one of the days. April Fool's is a day when, and then I can complete. Or Valentine's is a day when, and I complete. So Valentine's Day is a day when many couples buy flowers and candy for their loved ones. But in El Salvador, Valentine's Day is also a day for your friends and people that do not have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend and girlfriend go out to celebrate it with friends. That's what you're going to do. You need to speak for 30 seconds. You have one opportunity with your partner then you have to explain one day and you need to speak for 30 seconds. Okay. Right? Good inflammation, fluency, vocabulary. One day and give details. You have three minutes to practice and then you have to present. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's take a look. 30 seconds each person, select one day and give the descriptions using the relative clauses. Remember to use when, when and then the details, okay? I am ready, I have my stopwatch here. So you can see 30 seconds is what you have to speak. All right, who is number one? Me, teacher. All right, Carla, 30 seconds. I'm ready for you. Okay, when it's Mother's Day, I like to buy some gifts for my mom. And I like to buy some flowers. And I outside with her to the restaurant. And my children give me, give me uh, some chocolates because they know I love chocolate. And I try to stay time with my grandma, my mother, and I stay very great with her. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Carla, 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 what happened? What happened? You, no 30 seconds, Carla. Okay. Only 30 seconds. Mm, Carla. Oh, okay. Good job, Carla. Good flow. Only that you stop too early. You need to continue going. Um, remember, oh, okay. I, I like to spend time. I like to spend time with my mom and my, I like to spend time. Okay. All right. Good job, Carla. All right. Who's next? Who's next? 30 seconds complete. Who's next? Me, teacher. All right, Maria. Okay. I talk about Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas, uh, my family uh, spend together um, and make different uh, foods, uh, make tamales, make chicken bread. Uh, play, we play uh, uh, oh yes. <laughs> in chains gif. Okay, all right, 30 seconds, okay. Not too bad, not too bad, Maria. All right, the last part, be careful. Maria, you have a lot of buffers, a lot of, uh, 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 try to focus. That The reason is, is because of the pressure. When you have to go quickly, then you start to go with a lot. So prepare, so that way it's easier for you. Good job. It's important that you're using the right grammar. Who's next, who's next? Me, hey, teacher. Okay. Let's go, Jaime. 30 seconds. We are ready. Clock is at zero. Okay, teacher. Uh, sorry, teacher. Sorry. Sorry. What? Uh, in, when, when, when I end the, the years on Christmas Day, many people stay together for celebrate the uh, in, uh, the 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 celebrate together and they they have a, a party and and take a, a good 
dinner in, in your house with uh, with family and your uh, and your son and your all right your good job good job I mean all right good speaking you had a little part of a pause where you had a moment where you paused and then you didn't speak for a little while that's okay we practice we improve it remember the idea is the more you think about it the easier it is for you to speak so all right good just work on the flow on the fluency all right next next No, teacher, yo solo vengo a clase, no me interesa mejorar mi inglés. All right, I got it, no problem. Gracias por haber venido. All right, excellent. All right, let's go. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, Who's next? Who's next? Me. Hey, next. there we go, there we go. All right, Jose Arturo, 30 seconds. Okay, um, um, I would like to talk in about my first um, labor day here in El Salvador. Um, me and my friends... Um, uh, um, go for a bar and take some beers and we have um, a nice meeting to to have a, a conversation about all right um, thank you Jose. thank you very much nice job um, in the last part at the beginning not so good at the beginning we had a lot of pauses where you had to think about now jose good pronunciation but not one time did you use the grammar you never okay. use when remember yes, like, yes, yes. good That's good right the grammar use the when use the when to explain it's the day when my friends and i go to the bar okay, okay. good all right who's next who's next me teacher there you uh, go, Mercy. There you go. All right. Uh, I like the teacher days in June. Uh, it's a good party in the Salvador when the 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 celebration with the amos themselves and with their student at uh, at different levels. For example, in the university, the student do do act. The boss uh, invite invite to the lunch and. In, the English, the university make a a dancing party, a dance party, and uh, All I, right. I think very good, <laughs> okay. very good. There you go, Mercy. Only thirty seconds is good idea. Good, good ideas. Only we have to work on making sure that you have the correct in or to. So it's a day okay. the boss invite us to eat invite. or to go. No, no oh, eating okay. things like that. Good job. Good job. Okay. Who's next? Teacher. I think we need Noah and, and Rodolfo, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Noah. Okay, my topic is when celebrate Easter in I like to travel with my family uh beach uh, because uh, the sea is more clean and than uh, uh, other time. I like to eat the fish. I also when it's very hot in my in my home uh, because uh, I going with my family. Hmm. What happened? No, you stop speaking early. You start speaking early. No, thirty seconds. No, mm, look right there. Right. Me faltó todavía. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. No. I don't know if you can see, but don't worry, we got we got the timer. We'll get it. Okay. So no good job. Only the comparatives. Comparatives are when you are talking about two things is with er. Okay. Nicer, bigger, funner. These are ers. All right. Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, Rodolfo. Okay, um, the Father's Day is in my house. This is a special day because uh, me or my brother uh, to cook for a special dish for my to my my father, and all buy a different gift. And after the the the, the dinner or, or the the lunch, we we gave the the, the gift to my fathers and. With dancing with all my family, 
and it's a, a special day right. for very good very good for, 30 seconds also excellent i don't know it's a little difficult to see with the blurry but i'll make sure we got it it's 30 seconds now good job rodolfo uh, remember the ing also no we dancing we dance okay we dance with all my family we go we visit like that good okay excellent i am um, who's missing only juan linares right mm. um i told i told about the father day mm -hmm. Think Juan had problem with the internet because Juan is not moving. His head is like. <laughs> all right, Juan. I think that's done for Juan. All right, guys. Good job, all in all. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Remember, the idea for these is only giving the description. That's it. The idea is you take the day and you describe more. Mother's Day, Father's Day. My first day at work is the best day, Mondays. Mondays is the day that I love it. Why? It's the day when I can see my classmates, my coworkers. Friday is the best day of the week because it's when, when I go out with my friends. It's okay, the idea for the relative pronouns? Relative clauses, yes? It's okay. All right, let's go on to our next one then. Here's our next topic. Let's take a look. Walter, can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. In this class, you will listen to an audio about a carnival. This will help you develop skills in listening for a specific information. Okay, let's listen for information about carnival. Very interesting, very interesting carnival. Okay, here we go. Listen, and you want to answer the four questions. So listen and take notes. And Jose Arturo, can you please read the four questions? The four question, what is the samba? Okay, no, no, all, the number one, two, three, four, all four questions, Jose. Oh, for question. Oh, oh sorry. Um, what is a carnival? Um, how long does it last? When is it? And what is the samba? Okay. So we want to listen and have the four answers from the listening. Take notes. That way you can make sure you answer it. Page 52. Exercise 5. Listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. It's okay. Page 52. One more time. Exercise 5. Part B. One more time? Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. One more time. Please, Listen again and answer these questions.
Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, so let's try it together. What is Carnival? Um, it's a party. A party, right? Super easy. It's just a party. Okay. How mm. long does it last? It's a four whole days. Four whole days. Wow. Let me try four days. I'll try for four days to see if it works. When is it? Um, and the last day of, of May and the first days of April. Okay, all right. So May and April, right? Oh, oh May. Uh-huh. You say May and April. May and April. Maybe, all right. Go ahead, guys. You can speak. You don't have to wait only for one person. You can answer the questions. When is um, what is the samba? Samba is, samba is um Brazilian music. Okay, it's music. All right. Anybody want to change the answer? Anybody say no? That's not correct. I I I heard this in March. In March. Oh yeah. Okay. In, in late February and early March. Early okay. March. So February, the, the, March. Oh, I think that the first days. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look. Very nice. So definitely number one. What is carnival? It's a party, or only the word party, whichever one you like. Okay. So. It's a party. That's the important. How long does it last? Oh, you can put only the number for four days, four whole days, for four days, whatever you like. But the answer is correct. When is it? Ah, very good. It's in February or early March. Or it's on late February or early March. And what is the samba? The samba is a dance, it's not the music. Samba oh, yeah. is a dance. Okay. Dance. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So only that one was easy. Now here we have the next one. The next topic, very good. Uh, Maria. Maria, can you read the objective? Okay. In this section, you will listen in practice a conversation about wearing comfort, uh, a verbal clauses. Each time will be introduced. Good. We're going to learn wedding customs. What are some wedding customs that we have in El Salvador? What are very common wedding customs? No? Yeah. Nobody's married? Nobody went to a wedding? I'm a wedding planner. I'm a wedding. What is the wedding custom? Oh. No? Mercy, are you married? No, teacher. Not married. Okay. 
What about you? No. Are you married? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So yes. think about the wedding customs. What color was your wife's dress? Um, the color. Um, black. 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 Oh, yes. for my, 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 uh, my, 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 Yes, my suit is, is, is black. Yes, but your wife's, your wife's not black. Uh, right? it's, no, no, it's white. Uh, white. Oh, no, why no, not no, black? No, 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 why no, not black? No, ah, no, uh -huh. no it's, it's, it's black. It's, uh -huh, it's white because this is the custom. The custom is the tradition. Uh huh. What else is the tradition in El Salvador? El Salvador have a lot of crazy traditions. The white dress. What? Yes, the white dress. Number one. What else? The no. flowers to the, the woman. Flowers. The flowers, flowers that they have for the, the wedding. Yeah. To throw the bouquet. Need... The manto. El manto. Rice. <laughs> el manto. <laughs> uh -huh. The people throw. The people. <laughs> The people throw rice and beans. Yeah, people throw rice and beans. Mm -hmm. What about Las Jaras, right? Many, they still have the community where they give little coins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the man give to the woman, exactly. Also, there's the present where is uh, the rope, right? They have a rope that connects them. The rings. The rings. Oh, it's very common to have the rings made of gold. This is very traditional with a diamond for the women. Right? Well, now we're going to listen to a few ideas of wedding traditions. So listen and take notice. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay. Now, tell me, what did you understand were some of the customs that they have in Japan? Sure. Yes. You can span a picture, please. No, this is the big. This is oh. the biggest the picture goes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because the idea is the idea is listening, no reading. All right. <laughs> Let's listen again. Listen. Uh -huh. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? 
at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen. So tell me, what did you hear? What are some of the customs? A big dinner. Okay, they have a big dinner. Mm -hmm. With the family and the friends and close, they close give uh, a gift and, and money, add money. Who, who gives the gifts? Uh, the friends and the family. And who gives the money? I I understand that the friends. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. know, teacher. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. That's why we check. That's why we check. The groom. The groom. His wife's parents um, sing songs. Okay. Also, they sing songs. Uh huh. Okay. They only take picture after the ceremony. Okay, they take pictures after the ceremony. Good. Now, is good the idea? It's not correct, but it's good the idea. Is the bride and the groom, bride and the groom are the people that get married. Dun, dun, ta -da, dun, dun, ta -da. These are the bride and the groom. They give the presents to the guests. No, they receive the presents. In Japan, the tradition is the couple marrying give the presents. So, for example, no, who is married, give the presents to Mercy, Jaime, Juan, Maria, Carla, Walter, Rodolfo, Jose. He gives the presents. But no and his wife receive money. But first, they have to give a present. No, okay. Um, this is the different tradition. And like in El Salvador, in El Salvador, Many people get married in the church. In Japan, no church for Buddhist. In Japan is a shrine or a temple. Now we're going to listen in part two. Part two, get more information. More information about the traditions. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious, what did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan, so we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Tell me, what did they give their guests? <laughs> No, one more time. We listen again. Listen one more time. Yes. Okay, okay, one more time. Let's listen again. What did they give their guest? Hi, listen to the following. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan, so we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, yeah. What did they give their guests? Uh, sugar. Sugar, <laughs> teacher. Sugar is the symbol of uh, happy uh, in the uh, Japan. Correct. The sugar is the, sugar is the symbol of happiness. They gave them Many sweets. Yes. So maybe like mm, sakura, maybe orejas, maybe peperechas, maybe candy. 
but something with sugar, right? But sure. in a little box, no, in Bolsa del Super, right? No, no, no. <laughs> in a nice little box and have the present. Mm -hmm. Ceramic, dude. Ceramic, yeah. Ceramic box is nice. Ceramic box. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, we're going to take a moment and discuss what traditions you like about El Salvador's and what traditions you don't like and you would like from other countries here, okay? For example, my friend, they were married and they are from Ireland. And in Ireland, the tradition is the celebration is for three days. Three days, the celebration. Begin all day, party, drinking, activities, eating, having fun. Because in Ireland, is not married the woman, is not married the man, is married the family. And the family is together for three days to create the relationship for the marriage. This is the difference. Maybe it's nice, maybe not, depend on your opinion. But for me, I like it. I think it's a good way. That way, you know, I know. Esta cuñada no me cae bien, ya sé. And the, uh, <laughs> this is the idea. But imagine for many families, only have the family one time. But in Ireland, it's three days minimum having the family together. But imagine for me, I imagine the money, food, drink, the hotel, the rest, I, I, I imagine a lot of money. So now with your partner, you're going to talk about the traditions that you like, you don't like uh, for El Salvador or from other countries. Maybe you listen for traditions from other places and you say, I don't know. Maybe you listen tradition from India where they paint the women and you say, I, this is pretty or whatever, I don't know. So with our partners, Let's try. Okay. Um, one moment. Let me make another group there. Walter, there you go. Anna, you have some problems? Let me put you into another group.
okay, tell me, what are some traditions that you like or would like to see in El Salvador? Nowadays, teacher, I think it's a tradition to give to the money to the to the with in the wedding in the wedding, wedding? or the cook in the wedding where they cook. And I think it's not good for me because I prefer to the gift and the open to the gift is more interesting for me and more exciting for me. But the the people like the the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's very common. The people ask for the money. They say, no, no, yes. no. It's a regalo de sobre, right? It's yes. Envelope. You can give uh -huh. cash money, gift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, or Bitcoin. <laughs> Translate Bitcoin. 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 Uh -huh. Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> well, wallet. Our cost uh, tradition in the baby shower, the seven gifts is the next baby. Seven gifts and the next one is the baby. Yes. Who yeah, opened the, who opened the seven gifts? It's traditional that is the, the next baby. Oh, I never I never heard this, but it's fun. That's fun. Yes. Okay. It's dangerous, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. A little dangerous. Okay. Well, we are going to stop right there. Tomorrow, we are going to finish unit three so that that way on Friday, we are ready for the midterm. So the idea tomorrow, finish unit three, and then Friday, we are ready for the midterm. Remember, Thursday, no class, but Friday, yes. I see you tomorrow, okay? I see you tomorrow, teacher. Thank okay. you for your class, teacher. Okay, Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for connecting. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye,